angry six today staged a protest near Congress President Sonia Gandhi's residence against the acquittal of party leader Sachin Kumar. Shouting slogans, the protesters started their march from Mansingh Road and broke barricades to move forward. However, they were prevented from marching towards Sonia Gandhi's residence. The Delhi High Court has upheld the 10-year jail term awarded to a man by a trial court for his involvement in a 1984 anti-Sikh riots case. Justice R.V. Iswar dismissed the appeal filed by Shabnam Elias Mukri against the trial court's order convicting and sentencing him to 10-year jail term. The Supreme Court has stayed the demolition of buildings in Kampa Kola compound in Mumbai and has granted five months to flat owners to vacate the premises. Earlier, the Bombay High Court had refused to grant relief to the residents. A local Hyderabad court issued a non-bailable warrant against Majlise Ittehadul Muslimin MLA Akbaruddin Uwezi for allegedly making a hate speech against a particular community. Based on a private complaint of Kashim Shetty Karnasagar, a practicing advocate, the 7th Additional Chief Metropolitan Magistrate Court in Hyderabad issued non-bailable warrant with a direction to Maddan Fate Police to produce Akbaruddin before it on the 9th of May. India's largest mobile operator Bharti Airtel reported 13 consecutive quarter of fall in profits with about 50% slump in consolidated earnings during January to March. But it said that the worst may be over as pricing stability was returning to the sector.